Hello Mayors and welcome back to our new video about the upcoming event. Today we will speak about the Seller Quest and this one will be dedicated to the Irish culture. Let's click the icon here. Secrets of the Emerald Isle. So the rules of the Seller Quest are simple. You need to spend some energy to break the cells and get some items that you can exchange for coins uh, or uh, other useful uh, elements, for example tickets, and uh, then get rewards. So let's check how it works. Uh, there are three types of uh, instruments, of items you can use to break the cells. Um, you need to clear a cells, collect bonuses and get the main reward. Uh, you will find these elements, uh, these items in the field. And please do not forget how different tools are used. Uh, one of them can break one cell, another one can break a line of cells, and another one can break a square of cells. Some uh, obstacles cannot be removed, for example, newspapers. If you see a newspaper in the field, you cannot break it. The box can be um, broken with one strike uh, and uh, these cases can be uh, destroyed with uh, two strikes. You can also find a special chest and to remove it you need to find a special key uh, or you can buy it in the shop, by the way and you need you also can find special items uh, that help citizens and get a special reward uh, so the help uh, requests are here uh, and uh, if you provide the help uh, nine times uh, you will be able to receive this beautiful clock tower it will be dropping daffodils uh, and do not forget about the event store uh, you can buy um, the windmill uh, it will cost 50 coins you can also buy a key to a small chest it costs uh, 50 coins as well uh, and you can also buy the main reward uh, st peter's church it costs 300 coins and it also drops different deals uh, so uh, and you can find these uh, coins uh, in the seller field just here so i will use um uh, this tool and we'll destroy some of the uh, cells so I have already received one coin and I have received some uh, beige, one beige or um, a cookie um, okay let's keep uh, removing the cells breaking them so you can actually choose any tool you like I will try this one here yeah, and this uh, you can remove the cells one by one. But if you want to move faster, for example, you can uh, destroy them in a line. Or uh, you can use um, a tool to destroy the cells uh, in a uh, square form. It's just um, as you like it. There is also rating tab. Now it is open for me, uh, but uh, to take part in ratings you need to uh, break 15 cells first. Uh, and uh, then you will be taking part in a personal rating system for this event. So I have collected uh, 11 out of 10 uh, badges and 12 out of 10 cookies and I have got green uh, ticks here. What does it mean? So it means uh, that I can go to the help request uh, tab and I can create uh, 5 tickets to help the resident. We are helping Mike right now. So I can create 5 tickets. I have um, created five of them and so this scale has started growing. Um, uh, the first reward will be when I collect 
I want to create here 25 tickets so I will get 10 daffodils then at 75 tickets I will get three super bugs and then at 150 tickets I will get some energy and a decor item you can also check all rewards here they are available so um, you will have three different characters uh, and uh, you will get uh, in total nine rewards for all the help uh, that you provide to these citizens. Uh, let's keep playing for some time. So now we have made a rabbit. Uh, so if we click the rabbit, oh, it's a mouse, I'm sorry, I think it's a mouse. Uh, we can complete a task. Uh, so the task is to provide some stars, they can be found uh, in the city and uh, if I complete this task I will get energy and some coins. So, okay, I decided to complete and uh, now the mouse uh, has disappeared and it's okay, that's uh, not an error after you complete the order of um, this uh, creature it disappears. By the way, you can also look at the help request scale here. Yes, so now I have collected 5 out of 25 uh, tickets and I need uh, 20 tickets for the first uh, prize of 10 daffodils. So it's also convenient, you don't need to uh, switch between tabs all the time. I can now create some more um, tickets, but I want to collect uh, <coughs> more items needed. Here is another mouse. Let's check uh, its task. So uh, here I have got a different reward. So if I provide uh, concrete slabs for this uh, mouse, I will be able to receive uh, the badge and also the key. So the key uh, is needed uh, to open a special chest that you can also find in the cellar field. So I decide, uh, I click use. So I have received uh, badges, they are counted here, and now I have got one key. Uh, <clears throat> I also remind you once again that you can buy the key in the event store. Uh, it costs 50 coins and you can buy uh, it uh, three times. And uh, these keys are only for this event, so for example if you decide to buy all three of them but you do not use them in this seller quest you will not be able to use them in the next one they will just disappear uh, so now uh, if uh, i keep playing i uh, might come across a chest and i have a key to open it but it is also possible that you come across a chest uh, but uh, you do not have a key for it for example you have not met uh, a mouse that provided you with the key so it's not an error it's uh, a game situation um it can happen so that you get a chest but uh, you didn't have a task before to get this chest so you can always keep the chest if you don't want to uh, open it uh, it's up to you
and here I have found um, a chest uh, so let's uh, click on it so uh, the idea here I can use my key to open this chest and I will receive sunglasses and a donut or I can use 20 super bucks to open the chest uh, so it is either the key or super bucks if I did not have the key I would use 20 super bucks and it doesn't mean that I will be given a key so I just uh, use these 20 super bucks to open the chest yeah but now I have got uh, this chest I will click use and uh, yeah it has disappeared uh, it means it is open and I have received uh, glasses and uh, donuts and I have got a lot of uh, items already let's go to help requests so these items uh, that I get from the chest allow me to make uh, 10 tickets so um, I can make um, 10 and another 10 and I have received my first bonus from Mike, uh, 10 daffodils. Um, now I also have got enough uh, badges and cookies to create uh, some more tickets. Uh, so that's what I'm doing now. And uh, the next prize, I need uh, to collect uh, 20 more tickets. So uh, I can just keep going, uh, opening the cells in the seller quest. But uh, what I want to show you now is how the rewards look in your city. So I will uh, use um, the magic of uh, video editing and uh, come back to you. Uh, very soon showing how the rewards from this quest look in the city. I am back and now let's have a look at the rewards that you can get in this seller quest. I have uh, placed all of them in my city already. Okay, so the first one is uh, the clock tower. It's very beautiful. There are some uh, characters dancing uh, and it will bring you different deals, energy coins and experience. Uh, you can get this uh, clock tower if you uh, provide uh, tickets and help the residents. So uh, it is here in the help request um, block, uh, this reward. The next reward is St. Peter's Church. You can buy it in the event store. Uh, it costs uh, 300 coins and it is also very beautiful. There are some people sitting at the table, someone is playing the violin and here you can see a tiny rainbow. Uh, the next reward is, um, and yes, yeah, St. Peter's Church also brings you coins, daffodils, energy and experience every 24 hours. Uh, the next reward is uh, this beautiful uh, windmill. It's uh, a decor item, but still very nice. Uh, you can buy up to three uh, of them in the event store. So I have already bought one. And uh, another one is uh, this uh, Irish uh, veranda. Uh, some um, people sitting, chilling there, having fun. Uh, some uh, beer glasses here. So yeah, it's also a very cute decoration for your city. And it can also be bought uh, in the uh, event store. Or it can be also uh, one as uh, one of the uh, rewards as well as the windmill. So if you don't want to buy it, you can just complete the uh, help requests and you will get this uh, uh, windmill and this veranda anyway. So thank you for watching. I hope this video was interesting to you and you are looking forward to trying this uh, new quest. It will be released in the game very soon. Have a great day and bye!